Tell me about uh, about your opponent. What you thought when they when they brought a name like him to the table for you? I was looking at the division, seeing who they might match me up with, and I and I had a feeling that that, that his name might come up. So I already had an inkling back in like October. So um, once I heard it was him, I, I expected it. It wasn't it wasn't too crazy. What uh, what does he pr kind of bring to the table and present to you in terms of? In terms of a challenge for you at this point, uh, for my first guy that I don't have to worry about really taking me down. The first three guys are just trying to take me down, but not 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 so much Charles. But uh, this guy, I think he just really wants to stand. After I touch him a couple times, I think he's gonna want to take me down. But for sure, I, I, I'm excited for the stand-up battle. And I think we're gonna have a good fight for the fans for sure. Let's um, let's presume you win and, and stay unbeaten. Uh, you'll be four zero in the UFC. What? kind of opponent do you start to think about next? Because the way that you're pacing yourself every three months or so and, and staying unbeaten, now you're starting to talk about getting to that next tier of, of yep. opposition. I mean, the top 15 after this one makes sense. So, but if, um, don't get me wrong, if they give me an exciting matchup outside the top 15 that's going to get the fans excited, it's going to get me paid a nice bonus, I'm willing to take that too. I don't really care too much about the opponents. I don't really care too much about rankings really. So I'm just looking to go out there, win every single fight and have exciting fights too. Once you keep winning, though, you will start caring yeah, about the opponents ex ex and rankings. Exactly, sure. exactly. Yeah, my, my most important thing is winning. I mean, if I if I beat the worst guys back to back to back, my ranking's gonna go up. If I beat the best guys back to back to back, my ranking's gonna go up anyway. So, like I said, I just want exciting fights. If they're ranked, cool. If they're not ranked, I don't give a shit. You talk. You, do you think about long-term goals? I mean, everybody talks about I want to be a champion one day. Yeah. You seem like you're a little bit more realistic that that one day might not come in 2018, but maybe yeah, one it, day comes in 2020 or something. Exactly. I don't, I don't expect to be champion in 2018. It would be, it's pretty unrealistic, but I definitely want to be champion. Who doesn't want to be champion? That's definitely my goals. I don't have a time limit on that goal. I take it one fight at a time, but I know I'm going to have that belt one day. When you look at uh, other champions kind of in this, in this company, where do you feel like you would be once you get to that level in terms of marketing yourself and, and in terms of you know being that guy that's out there and, yeah, and that's, talking? Yeah, that's and, a good question. I'm not. I know. I know the media. You guys, you love talkers like Connor. He's great at it, but it's not me. So if you force it, it comes off a little, little corny, and I never want to come off corny. And honestly, being me is what got me here. So I'm gonna just keep on being me. Cool. Uh, tell us if you can. If you give us a actual, you know what? How are you gonna get it done? You mentioned. You think he's going to stand up with you, but is that how you feel like you get it done on, on Saturday? Uh, I'm going to get it done one way or another. I, I'm, I'm being more, um, my last couple of fights I was really gung-ho on the knockout, but if I see this dude's neck, I'm, I'm going to choke him. So I, I have a feeling I might hurt him, then take him to the ground, then finish on the ground, or hurt him, he goes for a takedown, I finish him, but one way or another I'm getting the finish. Awesome.